this demonstration we'll see how we can configure Active Directory directory services into site replication. So what we've done here, we've come into our Active Directory sites and services. We have our two sites with Active Directory servers. And what we've got here under site, into site transport IP is we have our default IP site link. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to rename this. And we're going to rename this to just LON hyphen TOR because it's a site link between London and Toronto. Now we've done this, if we right click and have a look at the properties, what we have here is we have the ability to come in here, put in a description. We can see any sites that aren't a member of this link, and we can see the sites that are linked together. What we've got down here is a cost. So in the case of our replication traffic, our replication traffic will always take the least cost. So what we'll do here is we'll just drop that to 10, because I might have another one that's 20 across maybe a slower link for backup purposes. And we'll specify here we're going to replicate every 60 minutes. Also, what we're going to do as well is we don't want to replicate during the, the working day. So we'll come to change schedule. We'll come across here. We'll find uh, 9 o'clock. We'll go to 5 o'clock. Uh, what we'll do here is we'll blank it out so replication can't occur during the working day. And we'll say replication not available. So we'll select OK. We've also got the object button, just because there's information about the object. Got this set to protect object from accidental deletion. On the security, who can manage the link. And then in case the attribute editor, all we're going to do here is just apply the changes that we've just specified. And we can see all of the attributes associated with this Active Directory object. So we'll select OK at this point here. What we've also got as well, if I just come to the IP folder here, if we just look at the properties, what we have is under the general page, we've got this little tick box turned on here bridge all site links. All this means is if we have multiple site links and we've got them with a hub in the middle, any outlying regions will be able to do transitive replication through the hub site. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.